Major, I'm going back to you again because you new agers, I'm talking to you, all you new agers, witchcraft, voodoo, shamanism, okay? Hexes, vexes, spells, divination. They don't work on God's people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sun worship, the Masonic Lodge, all the, the pagan worship, Baal worship, worshiping the sun, the orb, and the sky, worshiping created things. This is man, see? So they make God in their own image, see? And they, they hear a voice, they say, that's God speaking to me. No, 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 no. If that voice ain't lining up with the scripture, it ain't God. <laughs> and you could even say, oh, everything about the scripture and say, oh, that's the voice of God. And God told me to do this. And oh, boy, and God told me to do that. And you can, you can twist the scripture. That's what the devil does. But that still ain't the Lord. Because it has to be Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. But we know we have the scripture today because of, you know, there's seven and a half billion people on the earth with all these minds and all these thoughts and all this stuff. It's good to have the Holy Scripture so that we know, okay, we're on the narrow way. Hallelujah. 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 I mean, can you imagine with seven and a half billion people, how many books have been written to fill the earth? I mean, just in the libraries in America alone. Well, go over to Europe and look at their libraries. And go to, you know, all over the world. And all the books that man has written. Okay? And this one book stands out among all of them. This one book. The Holy Bible. This this book. This book stands out. Like, I mean, you, this book is the book. Hallelujah. This book is the book. This is the one that reveals to man the plan. Hallelujah. And the plan is that God became a man. Hallelujah. God became a man. See? Holy, pure, right, and just. And took all the old creation. All, not just the sin. I mean, He took it all. He took all the old nature, all the old creation that had fallen. He took it all to the cross and nailed it there and destroyed it. Hallelujah. He nailed it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, it, and it, when he died, all that died. It was all done away with. All of it. See? He told Jerusalem, he, he said, he said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Oh, he was weeping and crying over the city of peace. The city of peace. He was weeping and crying. Oh, how I would have gathered you as a mother hen gathers her chicks under her wings. You ever seen that? It's awesome, isn't it? To see a mother hen, boy, those those little chicks are just, and they're right there, you know, with mama, and boy, they everywhere mama goes. Their little chicks are right there. But Jesus said, what did he say? Matthew 23. He said, "Your house is left unto you desolate, desolate." Do you know what desolate means? It means desolate, nothing. See. Because he did away with that. In Matthew 24, he said, There's not one stone here that will not be thrown down. Everything's coming down. It's going to all be destroyed. And that scripture was fulfilled partly. Okay? Because there's still one wall that's coming down. And that's the wailing wall. It's going to be thrown down. It's going to be thrown down. That wall was built in Herod's time. And Jesus said, there's not one stone here that will not be thrown down. And that wall is still standing. And that, that wall is coming down, I'm telling you. He's going to throw it down. Because the house that they had built, they had made it a den of thieves. See? A den of thieves! Ripping people off. Sucking the life out of people for their own gain. People are ignorant. They don't understand that these, these false teachers... They, they, they want to leech on, like a giant leech, onto the true, onto the simple, onto the, just the little babe in Christ. They leech onto you, and they suck, they suck, they suck, they suck the life of Christ out of you. Until your life is just like, uh, nothing. And you're just all confused, and you can't think, and you don't know what you're doing, you know? And, and so, that's what they do, see? So, all the old nature is gone. See, it's gone. Jesus said that. 
And now we have the new creation. In Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, there is a new creature. Hallelujah. We are that new creation in our spirit man. See, see, we are not limited by space and time any longer. Right now, right now. These temples, this physical temple, it's limited because it's it's right here. We're, we're right here, like, you know, on the earth. The law of gravity keeps us right here because we're inside this temple. But in the spirit realm, we can go, Oh, Heavenly Father, Oh, Father, Oh, Father, Oh, Father. We can just, just focus on the Lord. Just praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Oh, God Almighty. We just pray in the spirit a little bit. And just pray. You know, a, a woman came to me just then, you know, in China. And she's sitting in a prison cell, you know. Oh, my shadow, my Lord, touch that woman today, Lord. You see, and you can travel all right now. I just know the Lord's going right in there and just touching her, see. Touching that, that soul, that saintly soul, see. Hallelujah, hallelujah, see. And you can intercede, see. The Father reveals His will to you when you pray. When you pray, you seek His face, and then He reveals His will. And you know that's His will, and then you pray, you pray, you pray, you seek the Lord, and you pray. See? This is what Jesus is doing. He's ever living to make intercession for us at the Father's right hand. That's what He does. Hallelujah. He's the great high priest. Hallelujah. But He calls us priests. He calls us kings and priests unto our God. Hallelujah. But what are we doing? Oh, we're having revival conferences. Oh, we're having love meetings. Oh, we're doing this and we're doing that. Who's praying? Really praying. Seeking the Lord. vitally important for the body of Christ today that we come in unity to the cross that's the only place we're going to have it it's the only place because see when we all come to the cross truly and die that means the life of Christ in us will begin to break out more and more see? and I'm telling you he's breaking out of us he's breaking out of us he's breaking out of his people Christ Jesus is going to break out of his children he is breaking out of His children. Thus saith the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of God, is breaking out of His children. And He's going to be going out more and more and more and more. Because His Word says, and He, he said it, His Word says that the, the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Hallelujah. He said in His Word, in the first month, Hallelujah, in the first month, we're coming up on the first month. He's going to pour out the latter rain. He's going to pour out the latter rain in the first month. Hallelujah. He's going to pour out the latter rain in the first month that we're coming up to. Hallelujah. 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 He's going to pour it out. And it also says in Ezekiel 17... That Babylon is destroyed in all the leaves of her spring. You must understand something. Christ is calling us to the cross more and more. Because from the cross flows all life. Elijah is a sign for us. 